First tonight, the crisis in the Norfolk Children's Services Department continues as Ofsted says it's still not performing well enough. The crisis in care dates back to 2013 when Ofsted rated children's services in Norfolk as inadequate. Today it said children and young people are still not consistently receiving a good service. Although the report did acknowledge some areas of improvement, worryingly it criticised senior managers for not making changes quickly enough. Three years on and the rating remains the same, inadequate. The first initial blow to Norfolk County Council's children's services came with an inspection in 2013, then in 2015. Now this report, a checkup if you like by inspectors, shows while improvement is being made, it's happening very slowly. Within the report, it says children and young people are being seen with sufficient priority and in most cases their wishes and feelings are well recorded. However, leaders in the Children's Services Department aren't being ruthless enough in making improvement. It goes on to say difficulties recruiting high-caliber managers and staff and poorly developed plans mean children are consistently still not receiving a good enough service. Gary McAvoy is a man who works closely with children and young people in the county. He says they're being let down by the service. It's not good enough. Um, the, the improvements that they're making are to protect very vulnerable children in our county. These children who need the support of the local authority and who are not getting it, it has an impact on their future. Um, and each day that goes by that these services are inadequate impacts their future greatly. Do you think children in Norfolk are being let down by their council? Yes, massively. Millions of pounds has been invested to turn the department around since the resignation of former director Lisa Christensen in 2013. But it's faced a barrage of criticism along the way. In December, the government hinted it could bring in experts from outside the council. Only four months ago, it became the first children's services department to join forces with a charity in hope of improvement. In a statement, the council says its progress has been hampered by an absence of robust plans and it urges leaders to be more ruthless in pursuing change. Lee Milner, BBC Look East, Norwich. Well, this afternoon I went to see Cliff Jordan, who became the leader of Norfolk County Council earlier this year. Three weeks ago he went to Westminster to see the Minister to find out what the government thinks of the situation. When I walked in, he was not impressed at all with Norfolk, because although they had made changes, they had improved. It was too slow. And he was pleased I'd taken the trouble to go down and find out from the minister what he expected. And he expects a step change. And I have given him my word that I will provide the step change. So are you saying the people here aren't doing their job properly? No, I'm not. I'm saying that, that somewhere along the line, things are not joining up. If you don't join things up, they don't improve big time. But that's, that's down to leadership, isn't it? That's the point. So are you saying that Michael Rosen, who assured me this time last year that you would be solidly requires improvement, is not doing his job properly? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I don't know who's not doing their job properly. What I know is but when they're short... it the job of the director to make sure that somebody... Well, I have questioned him and I have spoken to him. Just clarify it for me because I think you are saying that you don't have confidence in all of your officers. I don't have confidence in failure, is what I'm saying. And your officers are failing? Well, I don't know whether the staff are failing or whether the system's failing, and that's the truth. I genuinely don't know, and I know it's, it's hard. To, it, it, it's up to the director to make sure that the systems are in place, isn't it? That's the point. Do you expect Mr Rosen to be in his job this time next year? Well, I, I don't see any reason why he shouldn't. I really don't, but I don't know You don't know see that. any reason why you should? Uh, <laughs> that's a two-edged question. That's back to front. I can't answer that because I don't really know what the real problem is yet. I'll tell you this much. If I find out he's really, he is violent, then no. But I don't know that. You see, you as leader of the council, Ultimately, the buck stops with you. Absolutely, hundred percent. And I'm not. That's why 
I've said to the minister, I will sort it, and I will. Genuinely, I will. Is there enough money going into it as a department? Yes, I think there's enough money, but I don't think it's the money is in the right areas. One of the criticisms is you don't have full permanent staffing. You're using agency staff. That can't be good. No, that, it's like a lot of other things. You can't get people... They, they don't grow on trees. Have you got enough money for more staff? I haven't got enough money full stop. I mean, genuinely, so although they the government... Say, are they, the, the although they say that you haven't got enough staff, you can't afford to have any more? I haven't enough money for everything. Adult social services, take a look at that. The, the people that require service there, we haven't got enough money for that. We ain't got enough money for everything. So if the inspectors were to come again in three months' time, you still wouldn't have enough staff? I don't know that either, still, because I don't know whether I've been able to start to change things where we could bring some more staff in. Shouldn't you know? Yes, I should know a lot of things. The trouble is, this is such a huge problem. It's, where do you start? Where do you start? This is not my problem to start with. It's my problem at the end. And now I've got to do something about it, and I'm going to do something about it. Mr Jordan, thank you. Thank you very much.